just give you guys a little bit of backstory. If you guys don't know, I have struggled with my weight for quite some time. I know on camera, it might come off to you guys as comedic because I'm always joking about it, but internally and off camera, I really struggled with the way I looked and how much weight I gained. It was affecting my mental, it was affecting the way I talked to people, the way I acted, my hormones. What's that feeling in you when you like your sex drive is super low? Like it was affecting all of that up until I did this raw vegan cleanse still in the process of losing weight but that's not the big news this was all leading up to the big news guys uh uh i didn't think i was gonna get emotional so i have been wanting surgery uh for a really long time <sighs> welcome back y'all it's bianca woke up late and today we're gonna be reacting to a very emotional video um, this is one of the huge uh, YouTubers slash content creators. I've been following her for a while. I think she makes some of the funniest skits. Like, they're very childish skits, but it's, it's just funny sometimes, you know, like when you're scrolling on Instagram and someone's doing something really random and her group of friends, they're pretty much, they don't take things too seriously, especially when it comes to comedy. They're absolutely hilarious and she's doing a lot of great work. But with this video, what I'm reacting to today is her coming out of the operating room after having um, breast augmentation. So she could tell you way more about this than I can. But I think that this is an important video to watch because I feel like a lot of women like will have um, issues with their bodies and they really try to do everything they can before actually going to surgery. Surgery is usually a last resort. So I feel like people put a lot of judgment on people that get surgeries for whatever reason they get them for. And they don't really realize that like, it's a huge emotional thing that you kind of go through. And it's a mental thing. Like mentally, if you don't feel like your body is the way you want it to be like it can really take a toll on you in your life and even though outside everything looks okay it's like it might not really be it could be the thing that's crushing your whole world and making you feel uncomfortable especially if whatever it is that you know that's uh, about your body that you don't really you know mesh with is something that's actually painful or something that's hurting your body and and that's the case with um easy and her uh, boobs is that her body in conjunction with her actual boob size just wasn't meshing well and she was saying she has a lot of back pain so you know this happens to a lot of women when they need to get breast reductions because they get those double d the double d's or the the g's the h's the size z's and you know it's your hormones it's your genetics it's not really anything you can control so you know, sometimes you just gotta go and get that surgery and it has nothing to do with like other people. It has everything to do with you and your personal health. But let's get right into the video and I'm ready to see what she looks like and what happened. Yeah, she's crying, like, and she's probably in a lot of pain because obviously it's just like right after surgery where everything feels really weird. I've had surgeries before and it feels really weird right after surgery, but you can tell like she's super emotional because she doesn't even want to look at the camera. And this is a person that like looks at the camera for a living, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, you know, she, she's going through Good. it. She's a little emotional, feeling a little just scared and stuff. You're okay. Do you need me to help you? Sometimes the light can heal you, but sometimes it can bruise you too. You're okay, baby. You're okay. Damn, this is hard to watch. Like, she is distraught right now. Like, 
well not distraught like in a bad way but like distraught in the sense that she's really like experiencing some like heavy emotions and i believe um what i know for a fact that the 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 girl that's um talking right now is natalie and that's her girlfriend and the, the it looks like the person driving is uh natalie's mom i've forgotten her mom's name but it makes sense because they're actually in florida right now and her mom lives in florida natalie's mom lives in florida Yeah, I get that because like, it's like, you know, of course she wanted this for so long and probably have been thinking like, yo, I have to do something about this. And then, you know, you plan it out, you take the trip, you fly down there, you go to the doctor, you go to your consultations, you make your appointment, you do all the things and then you actually go to the surgical appointment and then one minute you just wake up and most of your breasts are gone. The thing that you that has been in your life for a very long time, like a part of your body, is not a part of your body anymore. So as much as you didn't want it to be a part of your body anymore, it's like the waking up and then the realization like, oh my God, like they're gone. I mean, they can't come back. <laughs> like They're gone. Like my flesh is gone. That's really emotional. So just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep We ain't mad at you, girl, man. I didn't even notice it was three weeks. <laughs> like, was it really three weeks? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That was a long time, man. But I'm glad that they didn't uh, rush out and try to put out a bunch of content in the meantime because, you know, just recover. Take the time off, recover. It's a whole new life. You're about to start fresh, so. I'm back. Y'all, I said, um, back. I'm back. This is what I mean by easy, just silly, bro. <laughs> like. Always like the party, always super funny. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Let me stop, because last time I did that, it was bad. I miss you so much. Where have you been? No, it's more like, where have I been? Y'all, what's up? Y'all ready for the update or what? All right, you know? Just give me a little time. These things are swollen. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. I'm coming, I'm coming. I ain't been waiting, I'm coming. What's up, everybody? Yo, look to the side. Yo. The last time you see me in this room, it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. My, bro, look at this titties. Oh my God, can you tell? Yo, look at, look at, it's like boobs, belly. Now I gotta lose the belly, y'all, because it's like, I'm. it's a long story, but guys, I am back and I'm better. It's been three weeks since my operation and I am feeling so good. You know, if you've been keeping up with me, I've been posting here and there of stuff on my Instagram story. So go follow me on Instagram if you're not. I went to like two events. I went to the Erica Badu event and then I went to, I went out cause it was Chris's birthday. Uh, but you know, I'm back and I'm here to tell you guys about my experience and show you these bitties. Went from double D's to itty bitty titties. Yeah, the energy is back. So I just want to say first and foremost, even though to me and I know to you guys, they look like a world of a difference. Guys, they are swollen as fuck. So fucking swollen, I can barely put my arms down, okay? When I first came out of the recovery room, they were like almost non-existent, okay? And I've seen this process with my mom. Like when she first got her breast surgery, it was a world of a difference. But once the swelling went down, it was... Yeah, so... Easy just mentioned her mom. She said that this actually runs in her family. Like most of the women in her family have like very, very large breasts. And so it's not a surprise that she also ended up having very large breasts. I was like, God damn, what happened? Them titties gone. 
So that's what's going on right now, guys. My boobs are so swollen still, okay? And I can't give you guys a cup size. I really don't know. I just know that I had double Ds and we're gonna do the before and after. Like, look at this. Look at this. Let's go this side. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Crazy, okay? So just to sum up the process and what I went through, um, I was gonna take you guys with me throughout this journey, but I did not expect to have so much anxiety. I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna have an anxiety attack. I didn't know that it would feel so traumatic and emotional afterwards, okay? That's, a, that's understandable. Like, it doesn't feel a certain way until it happens usually. So like, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I didn't expect that at all. It literally threw me for a loop and you know, my lover, my best friend, Natalie was there. Her mother was there. You know, I came home, my family is super supportive. My mother, my brother, everybody. But in that process and in that moment, I am so glad that Natalie was there because it. I couldn't even do anything by myself. I couldn't pee, I couldn't shower. I couldn't do anything by myself without like her. Um, I couldn't shower for like two days and she had to help me shower. I almost passed out in the shower uh, because the temperature was too hot and my open wounds and everything like that um, I literally almost fainted like twice and she sat me down had to cool me off like it was so much that I went through that I did not know I was gonna go through okay and I'm saying all this to say I just because I didn't document any of it I'm like I don't want no cameras this is my moment like I'm not doing this for anybody else but me and right now I want to live in that you know what I'm saying so that was my entire experience um for about two weeks and then after that I was moving and grooving I was moving and grooving you know what I'm saying and it, it was tough um I think it's because mentally it was traumatic and physically it was like so hard on my body and now I have to I can't even I still can't even work out and I feel I can't carry certain things Natalie's just been there for me doing pretty much everything you know what I'm saying but now I'm out of y'all seen on my story I've been moving and grooving okay but I can't do too much I already I haven't seen any of her stories, so I don't, I don't really know like what she's up to. But yeah, that sounds like intense, bro. My boobs, they've been leaking. Okay, so let me give you the backstory. I went into surgery. TMI. All the last thing you guys seen was me crying, and right after that, I literally could not stop crying. I was breaking down. I was shaking so bad, and they were like, um, you know, try to get her some food, and they were just like, it's okay, calming me down. So the first thing I ate was some banana bread, and that was the only thing that Natalie and her mom had at the time, and I ate it, and then my mouth swelled up, like my tonsils, like you know that dangly thing back there. Um, it swelled up, swelled up, and I could not. I thought I couldn't breathe out my mouth. And it was already hard for me to breathe out my nose because my face was so swollen and it was just tough so we rushed back to the hospital because we were like yo what's going on because like it was so swollen like i could lift my tongue up and honestly like i'm not gonna lie to you that happened to me too and that came from like having like extreme extreme anxiety where like you can't swallow like everything is like it's done for i don't know you ever like been like you know, a kid and like you crying and bawling that <laughs> yeah, like try to like eat something while you're <laughs> like that's what it that's the um the closing that it feels like without even the crying part. It's like you got so much anxiety and you're so in distress that your body is like, um, that ain't what we doing right now. <laughs> like And I'm like, look and I was showing them and they were like, it's normal. You know, usually when you eat, try to just drink like a smoothie or something, you know? And then as soon as I drank a smoothie, the swelling went down and it was fine. But right after that, I started having another anxiety attack once I got the smoothie and it was just really emotional for me. You know what I'm saying? And but I just want to let you guys know what my experience was, you know? Um, so my emotions were like so heightened for about those two weeks but i do want to say the experience was incredible and i'm so happy with my results i can't even i can't wait till the swelling goes down even more i know 
that I gained weight during this process because all I've been doing was, you know, being in the bed and eating, you know what I'm saying? And I was literally on a journey of losing weight and the type of body that I have, it's like, I'm not one of those people that can just, all right, you sit around and if you don't work out or whatever, you lose weight. I know a lot of people like that. My body is the type, if you don't work your ass off, you're going to gain weight on top of you eating and stuff like that. So same, <laughs> same Z's like, I had the same problem when COVID hit, like, and I wasn't going to work as often, and then the gyms closed, and I didn't really want to just run outside in the street. So, like, I was home a lot, and I gained some weight. I mean, I'm still working on it. <laughs> like, so I totally get it. Like, that eating and sitting around thing with certain body types, like mine, does not work. But once I get moving, it just goes away. I didn't gain too much weight in the past year and a half, but you know, you gotta work it off. I gained a lot of weight um, during the three weeks. Not a lot, but I gained some weight during the three weeks, which is really annoying because when I first see my results, when my like uh, when I finally was able to put a button-up t-shirt on, like I was way more slim, you know, and I'm gonna show you guys that footage. Either way, I am so fucking happy. I am so fucking happy. The doctor was telling me that it's a, it's normal for women um, to be emotional after a surgery, especially because we are hom hormonal mixed with the anesthesia. So it was just like, okay, that's understandable. But shout out to Dr. Williams. Shout out to 305 Surgery. Thank you guys for making my dream come true. I can't wait to show you guys my results once the swelling goes down completely. The scarring that I have is like around my areolas and then like an anchor, it goes down and then right under my breast. That's the scarring that I do have. Was it painful when I love that she's explaining like every part of it because it really was an experience for her and I'm pretty sure she knows that like other people are going to be going through this and other people deal with this and she's just like look listen this is what's going on. When I was un under um no I do recall being there but I was it felt like I was there for only 30 minutes but my surgery was three hours you know what I'm saying then when I woke up I was in pain but it was more scary I was traumatized you know if you guys have any more questions drop them down below I'm talking a lot I just want to let you guys know I'm back me and Natalie were posting a video so I know you guys have been waiting for easy X Natalie to post um I'm back I feel like just rejuvenated I feel creatively inclined but wait Shout out to everybody, all my family members that checked on me, text me, DM me, every single supporter that has checked on me. Thank <laughs> you guys so much for really checking on me. I really appreciate all the love. I've seen all the love. Well, I mean, look, listen. Thank you guys for watching. Congratulations to Easy for finally getting something that feels like it improves her quality of life. Everyone should be doing things that improve the quality of their lives, their emotions, their mental health, all of that. Like, congratulations to her. I'm, I'm wishing her even speedier recovery. Looks like she's doing good. And I hope she really, really loves the results. You could already see, like, on her face, like, she's, like brightened like you, like you can see the the emotions and the happiness in her like i can just tell that she's going to be super happy with her results and she's going to be super happy with going forward and like fitting into clothes differently all that like so i'm really proud of her bro i'm mad proud oh man but yeah thank god thank you guys for watching so yeah thank you guys for watching it's been a woke up late and i'll see you guys next time peace